How do you tell the difference between carbohydrates you should eat and carbohydrates you shouldn't eat? And there's many different ways out there, right? And you've all heard the diets and the programs, right? Good carbs, bad carbs, and simple, uh, you know, it just goes on and on. How many of you have heard of the glycemic index? Yeah, very complicated system, and basically it really has no utility to any of us. It really doesn't, it's really not effective, it's very complicated. But um, how many of you have heard, if you want to know more, I have an hour and a half talk on the glycemic index, and the conclusion is skip it, okay? <laughs> so now it's like you just got one extra talk, okay? <laughs> now, how many of you have heard this, though, complex versus simple? And, and, and which are supposed to be the good ones? Right, and avoid the simple. Okay, well, let's think about that for a minute. Imagine I had a, a sweet potato. Is a sweet potato a complex or a simple carb? It is complex. And does anybody in this room know why it's a complex carb? It is because of the molecular structure of the, carb the starch and the sugar molecules, the amount of each, the type, and the structure. That's 100% correct. Okay, so now... Sweet potato, good for you or bad for you? Okay, so we have a complex carb, and it's good for you. But what if I took the sweet potato, cut it up into sticks, put it in the deep fat fryer, left it there for a few minutes, took it out, ended up with some sweet potato fat sticks, right? Is it still a complex carb? Yes, the molecular structure has not changed. Is it, is it, still, good to, is it still good for you? Okay, so we have complex carbs that could be good or bad. So by themselves, complex, that word doesn't tell you whether it's good or not, correct? Correct. Okay, how about grapes? Imagine I had a bowl of grapes. A grapes a complex carb or a simple carb? Okay, we only have two choices, and we, we <laughs> use one of them up already, okay? So let's try again. <laughs> grapes, are they complex or simple? Yes, and why are they a simple carb? The molecular structure of the amount of starch and sugar and the type and all of that. Grapes good for you? Yes, but what if I put them in a blender, add some warm water, blend it up, add some salt and sugar, maybe a little gelatin, and put them in a mold and make grape gummy bears? <laughs> Better, right? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Okay, is it still a simple carb? Is it still good for you? <laughs> Who said yes? Who said yes? This, this is going to be a very long lecture, okay? <laughs> okay, it's, it's not good for you. So we have a simple carb that be, could be good or bad, and we have a complex carb that could be good or bad. So the terms complex and simple in and of themselves don't tell you anything. But what was the difference in what made them good or bad? what I did to it, which is called processing and or refining. So here it is, very simple. How do you tell the difference between the carbs you should eat and the carbs you shouldn't? What I want you to do is focus on unrefined, unprocessed, or minimally processed, which I'll explain in a second. Avoid the refined and processed. Another way to think about it is you could eat it the way it grows in the ground, except for the fact that you may want to cook it in a healthy way or slice it or dice it, right? 